and go one two portal and to confirms like that so that's uh that's one of the really best be running up on opponents and like randomly hitting them with down attack but the best thing about this is you could drop it off the ledge to do things like that one two portal up special <laughs> kind of like that like rick has some really up gamers so we're back with another multiverse guy and today we're going to be using rick sanchez so i really really like playing rick um i like playing rick in the beta uh he didn't really have many combos in the beta uh his target combos that he did have in the beta still uh well i won't say they still kind of work um in the uh re-release they definitely work better uh, Rick has some pretty crazy setups. His jab is really, really ridiculous. Like, the hitbox on jab is crazy. And jab is kind of what keeps him in the game and helps him fight those top tiers. So, I want to do a Rick guy. Kind of show some things with, about Rick. There's some really, really crazy Rick players out there already. Uh, this is kind of like a beginner guy. This is nowhere near, like, the advanced things that he can do. Because he has a lot of setups with, like, his specials and portals and the meat season and things like that. This is kind of like a beginner guide to like get you started and then you kind of like um, incorporate those tricks of the trade into your gameplay as you play on yourself. So the first thing we're going to talk about with Rick is his grounded attacks. Uh, Rick is one of those characters that don't have a passive. Um, and I think it's mainly because a lot of his moves kind of have like their own unique passive, kind of like Marvin. So we're just going to hop straight into his grounded moves. So let's talk about his grounded neutral attack. So Rick's grounded neutral attack is the blaster. If you tap it, you kind of get little, you know, little blaster shots. That's really just about it. They don't cause any flinch. Even if you get up close, they still don't cause any flinch. Just basically like for shooting away. Kind of like this. That's if you want to use the little blasters. But if you hold the neutral button, you get a bigger blaster shot that goes farther. And it basically like disintegrates as it goes, like as time goes on. So it doesn't go the entire stage. As you can see, it just kind of like disintegrates. This blaster shot has some knockback. So... As you can see, it kind of like knocks Shaggy back and gives you like that ground bounce situation because it kind of knocks downward. So this blaster shot is very good for like poking from a distance and also covering your teammate in doubles. Um, another thing you can do is you can shoot this out and you can run behind it and kind of like get confirms and things like that. Uh, if you want to dash behind it, you can get a lot closer with it. So you can do things like this kind of like that and basically like follow that blaster and get some really really crazy confirms i mean you can even do things like shoot out blaster if blaster hits you can do jab into like things like that so blaster is his neutral blaster is really really good you just kind of like got his uh you can't really spam it because it takes a while to charge up um the knockback isn't too crazy if you catch opponents out of the jumps you can like get early like cheese ko's but it's really really good to follow up on to get things like a uh, dash jump forward air or just kind of like run behind it and bit out your opponent's options on what they want to do next to like trying to avoid that blaster shot so the blaster shot is very very good really really good um like i said the only downside to it is that it takes a while to charge up so a duel for rick's blaster shot like i said you won't really be spamming out like you could spam the mini shots to like get some chip damage uh, as you see, like, the damage kind of adds up when you get, like, a multiple of them. But if you're really trying to get in and your opponent's playing distance, you would just kind of, like, shoot the blaster shot and run behind it. If the blaster shot hits, you get confirms. And then if it doesn't hit, they probably either jump or roll to get away from it. So you can kind of put pressure on them that way. So that'll do it for his neutral attack on the ground. Like I say, blaster shot's really good for, like, following in behind to get those confirms and things like that. Very, very good. And the fact that it, like, that it knocks downwards kind of like gives you the chance to get those ground bounce combos like that very very good for rick to have um kind of forces your opponents to come in towards you and gives you a chance chance to play like that long distance like kind of like poke game so that'll do it for his neutral attack let's talk about his side attack so rick's side attack is really really crazy like this jab is nuts like the angle that it hits it hits really really high it also hits behind him a little bit i wonder if i can get the behind hitbox i don't think i can get it yeah, I don't think I can get it. Nope. But it hits really, really far in front of him. Has some very, very good range. As you can see, like, the distance that it hits Shaggy's from, Shaggy from is really, really crazy. And he gets some pretty crazy things out of his side attack. So let me just do the full side attack, which is one, two, three. And then he shoots the rocket. The thing about this is you can charge his side attack. So you can charge the one hit. You can also charge the third hit. So you can go one, two, and oops. 
one, two, and charge the rocket so that the rocket have more knockback. Uh, another thing about this side attack is you get some crazy things out of the jab one of the side attacks. So you can get like side attack one into up tilt, kind of like that. That's a really good kill confirm because Rick has a really long dodge. So you just kind of like dodge into side attack one into like up tilt to get kill confirms like that. Uh, you can also do one, two into portal to get confirms like that. Very, very good. You can do one, two, portal, drag them back down, down there, up special, and like things like that, like for a free, like 40% combo. Rick has some pretty, pretty crazy things out of jab, and just being able to connect portal out of jab is really, really good. Um, you'll only really want to go for the third one if you're really just kind of like mashing to get opponents off of you. Uh, your opponents can DI away from it so that it won't hit. Um, but you'll really be using the one and two, uh, the one so you can go one into up tilt, kind of like that, and then the two so you can go one, two, portal into confirms like that. So that's uh that's one of the best things about Rick's side attack. Another good thing is that Rick has one of those DI dependent side attacks. So if you'll see here, you can go one, two, and you can't get four there, right? And that's because Shaggy the bot is set to DI away from me. So if your opponents are DIing away from you, you can't get one, two, four there. But, but if your opponents DI in on uh, Rick's side attack, you can get things like that, like down air, four air. You can get one, two, four air, which is a really good kill confirm on the edge of the stage. So it's kind of like something to uh, no take notice of if your opponent. Um, a lot of people aren't like familiar with the Rick matchup, so a lot of people will DI the jab in simply because they don't want to get knocked further away. So if you notice your opponent's DI'ing in a lot, you can just kind of like get these crazy confirms out of jab, which simply is like jab one, two into like four there. Kind of like that. Even on the edge of the stage, let me see if I can get it. You can get like one, oops, I missed. But you can get one, two, for like jump down there spikes on the edge of the stage. You can get one, two, oops, wasn't fast enough. But one percent might be too high. Yeah, one, two, into up tilt instead of just going one up tilt or up attack. Uh, it's really, really good. So noticing which way your opponent is DIing when you're playing Rick is very, very good because you can get some pretty crazy follow-ups off of his jab, especially on the ledge because a lot of people hold in on the ledge. And remember, I said Rick's dash is really crazy. So Rick can cover a lot of space on the ledge on the ledge really really fast so one of the setups you'll see me go for is kind of like stand back here and when an opponent is off stage i'll dash in oops did not want portal but i'll dash in and hit the jab and because they're ready to like they're holding in because they're trying to like di and get back on stage they're not holding outwards to get away from the jab so you can do things like jab jab into down air and things like that very very good to remember like i said this doesn't work if your opponent is uh diing outwards and like kind of like right there if they're holding in you just kind of get the down air on the edge of the stage because if you're holding in rick gets down air out of jab kind of like that very very good setup um another good thing about this is that it puts your opponents in a really bad situation so like even if the down air doesn't kick like outright kill kind of like that because the down air is really strong it puts opponents like up under the stage where you don't really want to be at with Rick. Rick has one uh, a really good tool for dealing with opponents who wall clean. And it's his down attack. So like putting opponents off stage and dropping down attack is very, very good. Because down attack is really strong. It also gives you combos and things like that. So just remember if your opponent's DIing in, you can always just kind of like go one, two into like down air or one two into four there just kind of like remember you could do those things like that so that's why i say it's very very di depending on whether your opponent's holding out or whether your opponent's holding in um another thing to remember about it is if your opponent is holding in the one two portal setup does not work because your opponent's holding in towards you so they don't get knocked into the portal so that's another thing to remember because one of the worst things to do is to like preemptively use your portal because you think your opponents are DIing out and then you kind of don't get to confirm and then you also lose one of your best recovery tools which is portal. Another good thing that comes out of his uh, side his uh, side attack is you can go one, two, side special. And once again, 
if your opponent is DIing out, the one two side special will work. If they're DIing in, the one two side special will go under them. So like I say, he has some very like DI dependent things. Um, I tend to keep it simple myself and just always go for one, two, four there. Kind of like that because Rick's four there is strong. So like even at a uh, higher percentage, just going one, two, four there. And even at lower percentages, just going like one, two, down air, four there, into like another dash jab, kind of like that, or a one, two, down air, up air, kind of like that, or even one, two, down air, up special, into like another four there, things like that to kind of like keep my opponents on their toes. And once I realize they start DIing out because they don't want to keep getting hit by this, that's when I go into the portal setups because the portal setups are also really, really good. So that'll do it for Rick's side attack. I think that's about it. I Like I say, I love hitting people with the jab, uh, the side attack into down air. I call it the Dirty Sanchez because it's so disgusting. It's such a good setup. Um, your opponents have to be careful which way they're di So that'll do it for Rick's side attack. Let's talk about Rick's down attack. So Rick's down attack is the fart bomb. It has a hitbox, knocks opponents up. It actually knocks opponents up towards Rick, so you can do things like that, like down attack into up attack. Kind of like that. You could even do down attack into down air. You could do down attack into up special. You could do down attack into forward air. Just kind of things like that. Um, You won't really be running up on opponents and like randomly hitting them with down attack. But the best thing about this is you could drop it off the ledge to do things like that. So it is an active hitbox all the way down. So if you drop down attack off the ledge, it just falls down. And if your opponent's hanging on the ledge and they don't dodge it, it hits them. And like I said, it knocks them upwards. So you could drop down attack and jump off and get forward airs. Or you can even drop down attack and jump off and get down airs. Like I said, it's one of the best edge guarding tools because you don't have to commit to getting your opponent off the ledge or the wall. You can literally stand up here and just drop down attack and let it fall downwards and get those confirms off of it. It's a very, very good edge guarding tool. Um, you'll see me use that a lot in the matches and it works very very well with his uh, jab his side attack into down air because like I say a lot of people when they're on the edge of the stage they hold in after the side attack so a lot of times they won't die from the down air they'll manage to cling to the wall if they're not at high enough percentages and when they manage to cling to the wall you basically just drop the down attack pop them up into forward air kind of like that so that's one of the main uses for Ritz down attack. Um, like I say, you won't really be running into opponents with it on stage. So that'll do it for Ritz down attack. Like I say, very, very good at edge guarding opponents. Um, and that's mainly when you'll be using it when you're edge guarding your opponents off the stage. Uh, just kind of like remember that. So you don't have to get crazy and like kind of go like run off stage and go for down airs. You can literally sit on the edge of the stage and just drop down down attacks and get confirms off of it that way. Also, at higher percentages, down attack will start killing. It's a very, very good kill move at higher percentages. A lot of opponents don't never expect it to kill, and they manage to hit one on stage. It does lead to some pretty, pretty good combos, like down attack, even into like down, uh, down attack into up air, kind of like that. Or like I said before, down attack, oops, I jabbed. Uh, down attack into up special. So that'll do it for Rick's down attack. Like I say, mainly an edge guarding tool. So you don't have to commit to your opponents because I'm pretty sure you fought those opponents who like kind of like they wall clean and they slide all the way down and they come up with up air and they slide down and they basically just kind of like bait you into getting a hit or getting aggressive. Well, with Ricky, just kind of stand at the ledge, drop down, down attack and get that confirmed. Very, very good. So that'll do it for Rick's down attack. Let's talk about his up attack. So you'll be using up attack, which is the whip, a lot. This is actually a really, really good anti-air. The hitbox is actually very, very active. It's one of the best things about Rick because when you play Rick, you can kind of like play in the back, throw out projectiles and things like that. If your opponent gets aggressive and tries to jump over, jump up, jump above you, you can just kind of like up tilt, pop them up, and if they're higher percentages, the up attack will kill. And that kind of like leads to another good thing about Rick is this is one of his best like kill confirms is just simply going side attack one into up tilt. And it just kind of always seems to work. Like, as long as you know you're going to hit that uh, side attack one, you just kind of like side attack one into up tilt. Because side attack one has really, really good hit stun. Very, very good kill confirm for Rick to have. It works on just about every single character. Um, 
with one of his perks, he has a perk that allows him to drag opponents down with the whip after charging. So I definitely recommend that perk because you can get the, uh, the portal combos. So you do like one, two, portal, charge whip, drag them down into like down air or forward air, kind of like that. So that's also very, very good to have for uh, Rick to have. Like I say, a very, very good anti-air. Also has a scooping hitbox in front of him. It, as you can see, it's pretty far in front of him for it to be like such a good anti-air. And at those higher percentages, you just kind of like always just go side attack one into whip. Kind of like that. So even like at lower percentages, you could do it to put your opponent in like a bad situation. Very, very good for Rick to have. Um, definitely, definitely like this confirm. Uh, a lot of people say it's like kind of busted since, cause it always works, but I, I definitely think he needs it. It's a very, very good confirm for Rick to have. So that'll do it for all his grounded moves. We've talked about side attack, down attack, up attack, and neutral attack. Very, very good. So let's go into Rick specials. Rick has some really, really good specials. Uh, there's some very good utility specials. They're good in ones. They are a lot better in twos, but let's just hop right in and talk about them. So Rick's neutral special, he summons Mr. Meatsy. Mr. Meatsy has three different versions. You have the regular version, which you just saw where Mr. Meatsy's run for it. You have the up version. Oops, I'm going backwards. You have the up version where Mr. Meatsy throws out an uppercut, and you have the down version where Mr. Meatsy charges the golf club and he will reflect any projectiles or if you knock your opponent into the golf club, Mr. Meatsy. He'll knock your opponent back above you. So that's a very, very good thing to have. Just kind of like a uh, set up Mr. Meatsy's. That's Polymorph. Set up Mr. Meatsy's. Knock your opponent into him, get those confirms kind of like that. And like I say, the downwards golf club, of Mr. Meat Seas, does reflect projectiles, so it's very good for you to like have there and stand behind. So that'll do it for his neutral special. Like, it's, it's nothing too wild or crazy. Like, you just kind of like summon a Mr. Meat Seas. Uh, the thing about his neutral special in the sky, though, he summons a Mr. Meat Seas, and the Mr. Meat Seas flies him upward. As you can see right there, just kind of like helping with his recovery. Uh, one thing about this is the Mr. Meatsies that's above you actually has a hurt box. So you can do things like up tilt Mr. Meatsies into up air if your opponents are like holding in. So that's another good thing you can do, but it'll basically be used like as a recovery. Once you start putting Mr. Meatsies into combos, kind of like that, that's when that's when you know you're kind of like saucing with Rick. The Mr. Meatsies combos are kind of crazy, but that's it for his neutral special. Um, you can also, the regular Mr. Meatsies, you could throw them backwards also. So even if you like kind of summon them away from your opponent, you could throw them backwards. And Mr. Meatsies will run the entire stage. He'll run the entire stage and eventually fall off the cliff. And basically he'll run off the stage and hit opponents that are off stage. The knockback is like kind of upwards it doesn't knock necessarily into the blast zone it's kind of upwards um but it does work and it's also a very very good edge guarding tool so that'll do it for his neutral special let's talk about his down special rick's down special is the polymorph it's kind of it's both the same in the sky and on the ground and what the polymorph does is you and your allies become giant and your enemies that are hit by it become rain dogs So you can do it on the ground, you see it bounces out. And as you can see right there, what this also does is it increases the range on Rick's moves. Like you can see like the, his range increases. It also increases the damage and launch on the moves. And when your opponents are rain doggies, they also take more knockback. So it's a good move to have, especially like if you can't really catch your opponent because it just kind of like increases the range of all of your moves, gives you like some really, really big hitboxes, gives you more knockback because you can always want more knockback. You can never go wrong with more knockback, especially for you and a teammate to both have more knockback. Like that's just nuts. It's, Polymorph is a really, really good move. That's why it has like a really, really long cooldown. But like I say, you just kind of like throw this out in the middle of 2v2s. That's where you'll see me use it a lot. Because in the middle of 2v2s, I just kind of throw it out and fight around it. And me and my opponent, me and my teammate get those giant hitboxes. And then we just kind of go in with the bigger hitboxes and the more damage. So that'll do it for his down special. 
and remember try to use polymorph in the middle of fights so where you and your teammate can get it uh sad thing is is once polymorph is on cooldown rick does not have a down special in the sky or on the ground once polymorph is on cooldown down special is just a button you should not be pressing because you do not get another button outside of polymorph but the buff on polymorph is very very good very good increasing your knockback increasing your damage as you can see right there increase your knockback and your damage and also putting a potential debuff on your uh opponents so rick's side special is the portal gun you hold it and you can go just about anywhere on the screen very very good you can hold it indefinitely you can also cancel out of it so you can use this oops that was mr meatsies but you can use this to start your float in the sky and as you can see in the sky he will automatically portal gun as when on the ground you can hold it for basically long periods of time so that's one of the good things about the portal gun another thing about it is when you use it as i showed before with the jab attacks you can knock opponents into it and knock opponents through it so you can do things like one two portal kind of like that by just tapping forward with the portal very very good you can also tap it and hold up to put the portal like a little bit upwards just in case you're going to knock your opponents upwards so that's a very good thing for rick's portal another thing about rick's portal is when you shoot projectiles through it they travel through the portal as you can see right there so you can send mr meetsies through it your teammates can send their projectiles through it it's very very good you can get some pretty pretty cool setups um let me see if i could do one kind of like this like one two shoot rocket through portal kind of like that uh to basically like get like a rocket follow-up um i'm trying to think you can oops portal is on cooldown you can basically like set the portal up to where like your opponent is in between you in the portal so they'll always have to worry about what's coming through the portal you can turn around and shoot through the portal <laughs> to knock opponents towards you kind of like that you can throw mr meeksies out through the portal so your uh, opponent will have to worry about it you can get pretty pretty cheeky with the portal and like i say you can kind of like stand at the edge and you can set portal up anywhere on stage so like in a team fight you can set portal up over here and then you can send mr meeksies through it and he'll basically kind of run back through the entire stage to hit opponents so that's also really really good just kind of like got to remember those portal setups um a lot of people will use it to recovery to recover because it is a very very good recovery move because you kind of like be off the stage and you can make it back to the middle of the stage like <laughs> with no hassle whatsoever you don't have to use a jump or anything like that so portal is a very very good recovery tool and it's also a very good combo tool and neutral tool when you know how to use it another thing about portal is when portal is on cooldown your side special becomes the jet skis and like i said you can go one two jet skis when your opponent is dying away that's actually a really good kill confirm because jet skis has some very very good launch especially on the edge of the stage and being able to go one two jet skis is very good uh sometimes if your opponent isn't ready it'll knock them downwards as you see like it knocks shaggy downwards and if it knocks them downwards like they get the ground bounce you kind of get to go into another jab the jet skis is a pretty good special as you can see right there it knocks shaggy downwards so i was able to get another jab after the jet skis so that's very good to do if you realize like your opponent's di'ing out and they're not giving you the one two into like forward air confirms and things like that you can always put portal on cooldown and go one two into the jet skis like that and the launch is very very crazy like you can see it not shaggy pretty far and eventually it'll start killing so it's kind of like a really really good kill confirm so that'll do it for his side special let's talk about his up special so rick's up special is the jetpack very very good it's the both the same on the ground and in the sky you can charge it so you can go up higher as you can see and the hitbox on it is actually really crazy as you can see like the hitbox goes nuts and it basically knocks opponents up with you i haven't been able to get it so i don't know if he still has it but i don't think it spikes downwards anymore it used to spike downwards in the beta yeah it looks like it always knocks up now um but in the beta it would spike downwards so you would be able to cover a lot of area because as rick is going up he is a hitbox and he's a really strong hitbox like this move has some really really good knockback 
in in the beta you used to be able to cover like down and above like by just up specially right there because if your opponents went under you they would get meteored and they went above you you would get hit but you can also do things like down air into up special at medium percentages you can uh do things like one two portal up special <laughs> kind of like that like rick has some really really good tricks and also if your opponent is di'ing in if your opponent is dying in, you can do one, two, down air into up special. So, like, get things like that. Very, very good for Rick to have. A very, very good setup. Uh, even if your opponent's dying in, you can get one, two up special. But I prefer one, two down, uh, one, two down air into up special if your opponent's dying in. It just kind of like makes down air a little bit more, uh, up special a little bit more consistent, as you can see. Uh, very, very good. And like I say, you even get like kill confirms when you hit down there into up special. Kind of like that. Rick's up special is really, really strong. Especially when you put on the polymorph, the polymorph buff. Because the hitbox on up special just becomes huge. Like it's a really big hitbox. It covers a lot of range, a lot of area. So that's really, really good for Rick to have. So that I'll do it for his up special. Uh, like I say, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild, just the up special jetpack. And I think that'll do it for the specials. We've covered side special, cool down side special, down special, which is the polymorph, neutral special, which is the meat seas, and the up special. So let's get into Rick's aerials. Rick's aerials kind of do go crazy because they do kind of hit really, really hard. So Rick's neutral attack. It's basically his grounded neutral attack, but it's the blast. But you float more, have more maneuverability, as you can see. You can kind of like jump forward and float forward with it. You can run, jump, turn around with it. You can float forward, turn around. You can stay in uh, place. You can get aggressive and get uh, go basically like fly forward with it. It's very, very good. Like the maneuverability you have with this move in the sky is very, very good. Um, one thing about this is the hitbox on it is a lot smaller than it was in a beta. So you have to charge this and fall with it to hit certain opponents. Another thing about this is on smaller opponents, the blaster will just straight up miss. So I think Gizmo is a good example where standing blaster just goes over his head, as you can see. That's kind of like a sad thing about it. So even if you jump and shoot, it won't really matter. Uh, because Blaster just won't hit Gizmo. It's kind of like one of the benefits of Gizmo being Gizmo. Uh, Marvin can crouch under it. There's some other characters that have really, really good crouches that can get under it and get away from it. Uh, you'll mainly be using this a lot for the tall characters. And to basically like change up your momentum and speed while using your neutral attack in the sky. But I'll basically do it for his neutral attack in the sky. Let's go into his other aerials. So Rick's forward air is absolutely amazing i think the hitbox is smaller from the beta but it still does not matter this move still absolutely 100 percent slaps i call it the gucci belt <laughs> because he basically like hits him with the repulsor from the belt um you can basically charge it in the sky as you can see you get some distance while charging it like his moment aerial mobility like while charging it is pretty pretty crazy like even if you jump and turn around and do it you just kind of like fly away with it you can even jump and air dodge through opponents with it, kind of like that, to like get reversals. It's very, very good. The hitbox isn't as big as it used to be, but the hitbox is still 100% just a giant circle around his body. Uh, the best thing about this is that it knocks downward. So like on stage, if your opponent's like DIing down, they can get knocked downwards, and you can basically like go full there into another full there. It's a very, very good aggressive move, especially for opponents when they're holding in. To basically like just kind of like get those follow-ups and it knocks the fact that it always knocks horizontal is very very good as you can see just kind of like put your opponents back off stage and basically puts them in bad situations like rick's forward air is really really good uh you fly the opponents you charge it and we can get those confirms out of jab one two kind of like that on the edge of the stage you can get some really really early kill confirms and that'll basically about about do it for rich side air uh you kind of want to jump at opponents with it you can kind of fade back with it you don't have to aim it because it is a giant circle so it's not like you have to be like really really specific with it you just have to be ready to hit your opponents after you get that uh when you're ready to throw it out 
So that'll do it for Rick's side special. Very, very good neutral breaking tool because you kind of like charge it up, throw it out when you want to, and if you get close enough to your opponent, just release it. Even works behind them, works in front of them. That's why it's called the Gucci build. You can get things like down air into side air. Oops. Down air into side air. Uh, you can get things like down air into side air into dash jab because Rick's jab hits really, really high. Uh, down air to side air will probably be like one of your main things. And basically just kind of like covering your opponent's angles with side air to get like those early kill confirms or those good positionings. So that'll do it for Rick's side air. Let's talk about Rick's down air. Rick's down air absolutely hits really hard. It slaps. Like the spike on Rick's down air is really, really crazy. And I think it's because the hitbox is so small. It's really just like right under his feet. Like it doesn't go too far up under him. As you can see, it's a very, very strict hitbox. Another thing about Rick's down air is that it ignites the enemy. Oops, that killed. But it ignites the enemy. So after getting hit, they'll take a little bit of burn damage. Um, I think it's uh, maybe like one or maybe two extra percent. Uh, nothing too wild, but it is like it does help out when you're trying to like build those percentages, especially when your opponent's holding in. So you can go like one, two, down air, full there, just like that extra one percent to like help build up that percentage on your opponents. When you're trying to like win the match and get an advantage, it's very, very good. Rick's down air hits really hard, and like I said, you can get down air into up special, down air into side air. You can get like down air immediately fall into up air. Like Rick's down air is really, really good. It's really, really hard. And like I say, when your opponent's DIing in, being able to combo into this move to get those extensions kind of like that is very, very good for Rick. Very good for Rick to have. Your opponent has to be afraid of his jab simply because of his down air extensions. Like the way he can build damage up with down air extensions out of jab. If your opponent isn't the eye in the right way, it's very, very good. Your opponents have to always be on their toes. And like I said, even on the edge of the stage, you can even get jab, jab, down air on the edge of the stage to get like an immediate spike on your opponent on the edge of the stage and get those kills. I like to call that the Dirty Sanchez. It's very, very good. Like Rick's down air is very, it's not the easiest thing to throw out. But the fact that you can get it from like jab if your opponent isn't ready to DI makes it really, really good. It makes it also a very, very good combo extender. And it sets up some really bad situations for your opponent. So that'll do it for Rick's down air. Very good setup. <laughs> I love this. It is so good. So that'll do it for Rick's down air. Let's talk about Rick's up air. So Rick's up air. When it's not on cooldown, it's the seed. You know, he shoves it way up there. Uh, basically, what this does is when your opponent is hit with it, they get silenced. As you can see, they get silenced. They take the silence for a while. When it is on cooldown, he basically does the finger jutsu <laughs> and shoves it way up there. So you can still get, like, down air into up air. Uh, the hitbox isn't as big without the seed. But this move still 100% hits hard, and it does kill. Um, I think in the beta it didn't kill. It didn't kill as early as it did in, as it did now. But like catching an opponent like midway up at the screen with up air, you can get some really really early kills. Like Rick's up air is really really strong, surprisingly. And I think it's because it's kind of like a straight up move. Like Rick's down air and his up air are just kind of like straight up moves, so I can understand why they hit so hard. And being able to hit opponents with like jab, jab, down air into up air is very, very good. You can also kind of like drift forward with it a little bit. And when it's not on cooldown, you could charge it to make it even stronger. So like being able to hit things like down air into like charge up air is very, very good. Very good. Rick's up air is really, really good since you have moves that let you get it automatically kind of like down air. And then, you, like I say, you have jab one, two into down air to help you get into that up air. So, it, like I say, in the beta, it wasn't that good of a move because it was, like, very straightforward. But now that you have ways to, like, kind of lead into it and help you get to it, it's very, very good. So, I think that'll do it for Rick. We talked about his grounded attacks. We talked about his specials. That's neutral attack, not special. <laughs> we talked about his specials. 
and we talked about his aerials. So that will do it for Rick. Uh, also, his dash attack is also really, really good. Rick's dash attack goes out really far. It stays active for a really, really long distance. And kind of like everyone else's dash attack, it has really crazy knockback on it. It's really good for covering opponents off the stage that are hanging on the ledge. Because you just kind of like throw it out. And if your opponent jumps into it, they get knocked back off the stage. Kind of like that, like you saw Shaggy jump into it. And basically got knocked off the stage. It's very, very good for Rick to have. It lingers, it delays, it stays out for a while. Very, very good dash attack. It's a very good dash attack. So that'll do it for Rick gamers. Hopefully this beginner guy helps you out. Like I say, Rick is a, he is an expert level character. So there is more to him than just the basics. Uh, but this guy is just kind of like the basics to kind of give you like a ground floor to work with as you decide like what what's the advanced setups that you prefer if you prefer portal setups if you prefer like a more grounded jab setup if you prefer edge guard setups like you kind of like have to remember all those situations when playing with rick and if you do you can score out some really early cheese kills some really really good cheese kills rick is very very good i i i'm i'm actually impressed with how much better rick is i thought he would be a lot worse but him simply having like the jab one two setups are just so good and him having like the fart bomb setups on the ledge is just really really good so gamers that'll do it for rick if this guy helped please leave a like comment subscribe down below if i missed anything or you have any tips for anybody else that's learning to play rick because like i said he is an advanced like character so you will it will take more than just randomly playing him to like be good you'll take a lot of practice but that'll do it for rick gamers i'll catch you in the next one Bye.